This is IPSEC, mostly known for his hack the box talkthroughs that make very technical and complex topics easy for us dumb people to understand and learn from. This is me, a noob that wants to be like IPSEC, unlike the older generation of cybersecurity personnel. The problem we face today is information overload. These guys had to put things together from a very tiny pool of resources. We, on the other hand, don't even know which platforms to use just because there's a vast amount of options out there. One of the questions I personally had when I was starting out was try hack me or hack the box. Try hack me versus hack the box. What should I use? Now, such a question is a lot more gray than it is black and white. I'll start trying my best to give you an answer based on your specific scenario and the question in general. I've come up with a bunch of avatars to help answer this specific question. The first avatar's name is Naruto. Naruto wants to break into the field of cybersecurity as a penetration tester and eventually do some red teaming. You know, the cool stuff. Naruto is stuck and he has the question, try hack me or hack the box. He doesn't know which platform to use. He doesn't know which platform will help him achieve his goals quicker. My answer to Naruto's question and specific scenario, which is where I was a couple of months ago, is Naruto should start with try hack me. Once he has the foundational skills and a bit more footing, Naruto can then move on to hack the box. The first things Naruto needs to do on try hack me are the learning paths. They are eight to be exact at the time of recording this video. Naruto should do all of them, all eight, complete everything, including the cyber defense one. And yes, I did say it, including the cyber defense one. There's a lot that goes into penetration testing and hacking in general. And having the defensive skills and the defensive knowledge will help you become an overall better hacker in the long run. After completing all the learning paths on TriHackMe, Naruto would have probably identified some of the things he liked. Scripting, maybe. Since Naruto now knows that he likes scripting and coding in general, he can scroll down to the modules section. In the modules section of TriHackMe, Naruto can find specific information about the things he likes. Scripting, introduction to Windows, introduction to Linux, exploitation basics, etc. At this point, Naruto might be primed for a bigger slice or a bigger chunk of the pie. And I say a bit, he might be a bit more primed for a bigger chunk of the pie because the transition from try hack me to hack the box is a bit of a shock. Despite having write-ups and video walkthroughs of all the machines, well, all the retired machines on the platform, the mental and technical hurdle are hard to get past as compared to try hack me. At this point, when Naruto starts doing hack the box machines, he's gonna bump around a lot. And if he hasn't seen something specific to that one machine he's trying to hack into, he's probably not gonna be able to solve it. Well, not without help at least. This is because hacking and penetration testing and these CTF type machines are an experience game in general. And the more you do it, like everything else, you get better at it. One thing I would like to note though, is that the experience comes faster if you have a solid foundation. So don't skip over those learning paths on try hack me like I did. I was dumb, don't be dumb like me. All this being said, we now have a specific answer to Naruto's scenario. Start with try hack me, then move on to hack the box. For the rest of the avatars, we're gonna take what we learned from Naruto and apply it to all of them. We're gonna apply it across the board. Why is that though? This is my reasoning for giving that answer, for applying what we learned from Naruto to everyone else. If you're at a point whereby you're asking the question, try hack me versus hack the box, should I use try hack me or hack the box? You're probably not ready for hack the box. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? That is a bit of a hot take, but it's my opinion nonetheless. I say this because people use hack the box for specific things most of the time. To get better at a certain CDF category for the pro labs, competing for first blood to gain rep and clout, doing the TJNR list for prep for the OSCP, etc. So if you find yourself asking this question, try hack me or hack the box, go back to try hack me. Do as much as you can on try hack me. Go through the learning paths, the modules, various rooms, learn what you like and what you don't like. And at some point you'll be able to leverage hack the box in your pursuit of your cybersecurity career which is a lot more beneficial than just bumping around between both platforms, not knowing what you like, learning random stuff, and not focusing on one specific area, which you should do, focus on one specific area, get good at it, and then you can learn other things and branch out. At this point in my life, I am preparing for the OSCP, so I'm gonna be using Hack the Box for OSCP prep, specifically 
for that. So if you want to check out how that's going, you can check out this playlist on OSCP preparation. If you're not into the OSCP, you might be into the PNPT. So you can check out this playlist and learn how I passed the PNPT. But apart from that, that is it from me. I hope your question is answered. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, stay safe. Don't get hacked. Stay out of trouble. Peace.